Hey everybody, welcome back to 30 Days Not Done. We've been moving into this mode of imagistic mindfulness uh, over the last few days, probably actually a couple weeks now. Um, and uh, uh, we're going to continue that uh, because I think it's important. And it will uh, both. Just had a moment of, of mindfulness there uh, as the wind picked up and started blowing things down. Um, uh, we're going to continue that with the. Uh, our discussion. Now there's two things that these poems can do. The first is they'll be great poems in and of themselves, right? Especially if you can uh, just capture that moment, capture that image. Um, use the sin cane if you can. They're, they're just absolutely fantastic. Um, you can also uh, use them to spur on other poems, right? Use them pieces. My old friend Bruce uh, Williams used to say, you get uh, little pieces of good poems and save them and eventually they turn into uh, gozzles, uh, right? So this good piece kind of fits into that gozzle. Um, I know I'm not pronouncing the word correctly, it's fine. Um, today what we're taking a look at is the insects, um, and what, whatever whatever that means to you. Now there's insects everywhere, they, they, there have to be. Um, I'm up here in Sequoia and Kings Canyon, um, and actually right now in the Sequoia Monument, um, and uh, everywhere there are these ants, they're these massive big ants, um, and they absolutely don't need us. Um, they coexist with us. You, sometimes you look down, they're crawling across your feet. It doesn't matter. They don't bite. They don't want our food. They are self-sufficient and they're beautiful. Um, I like to get down really close to them and, and take a look at them. Um, I, I had a, a student up here named Dan. And he was fantastic. I haven't seen um, insect photo, photography like he did ever. It's just a massive and he just kind of get down and he lets you see what the beauty of the insect was. Um, I think when we're back in the city and we're living in these sort of isolated states, we see an insect and it feels like a violation. Um, an insect is not a violation, it's a co-inhabitant. Um, so uh, you might not want them in your house, I, I don't, um, but if you go outside, um, take a look at these things, get down close to them, they're absolutely gorgeous. Now if it's a like an a insect that's going to hurt you, don't get down close to it, you know, don't like uh, eyeball a bee or something, but uh, or a spider, you might want to stay away from them, but um, you know, there, there are ladybugs, there are earthworms, there are snails, there's all these animals that are just gorgeous, objectively gorgeous. The snail is objectively gorgeous with the hardness and the almost gelatinous softness uh, coexisting all at once. Okay, when you've got that uh, imagistic quick palm, put it down below and I'll see you tomorrow, 30 days until done.